Hello, my name is Eddie, and welcome to We Rock Tech. We're here at the Empower Hack Hackathon, uh, Health Hackathon, in April 2016, and uh, joining me is Rani. Have I pronounced that correctly? Yeah. Okay, was. brilliant. <laughs> so, um, do you want to give us a bit of an introduction uh, about yourself? Sure. Um, well, yeah. Right, um, I work in the charity sector, currently working at UNICEF UK in their fundraising strategy team, so yeah, not a techie typically, but the weekend I am. Okay, that sounds good, and I remember you mentioned before you did some Code First Girls. Yeah, so... so you have done some coding. Oh yeah, sort of beginner, one be coder. So yeah, oh, last yeah. November I did, I took part in Code First Girls beginners course okay. at Twitter, learning a bit of HTML, CSS, and a bit of feature up and jQuery as well. So okay, yeah. Excellent. So you so can build a website, no problem. Theoretically, now. yeah. <laughs> okay, I have, I have built a website before, so yes, okay. I can. <laughs> sounds good, well I hope they get you, some, get you coding later on today as exactly. well. Exactly, yeah, um, looking forward to it. That would be really good. Get you on GitHub and there's uh, con loads of contributions. Um, so I understand this is your first hackathon? It is my first hackathon, yeah. So what, um, how did you find out about it and, and what decide, you know, made you decide to kind of come along? Yeah, um, well I found out about through Code Best Girls, it's amazing. Oh, sort okay. of, you know, uh, tech community for girls trying to get into coding. It was posted on the Facebook group, I think, whilst I was um, taking part in it last November for the first Empower Hack, which, yeah, sadly I couldn't make it, but I loved the idea, loved the concept, and signed up to all the newsletters and stuff oh, okay, so I could to sort of, you know, keep up to date with what was happening. And then sure. when I found out about the Health Hack, I was like, yes, I've got to make time for this, I've got to come. Okay, excellent. <laughs> and being the first hackathon, um, what do, you, what do you think? What's it like? Was it what, was it what you expected, or was it different? Yeah, it's. I didn't know what to expect. You know, okay. it was it was amazing. We had yeah, the so, we had social on Friday night where we had everyone talking about you know their experiences from the last hack and everyone was so positive and so you know full full of joy about you know all the different people coming and shared experiences and I've definitely experienced that certainly. It's been. I've been so amazed by the multiplicity of different, you know, sort of researchers, you know, coders, you know, sort of dev, UX people, you know, doctors, everyone coming together for this, you know, so, amazing it's project. Such a, a range of skills. Yeah. Is brilliant. So we can, yeah, everyone can share their skills and learn from others. Exactly, and so diverse as well in terms of, you know, gender diversity, you know, ethnicity, cultural experience. You have people who. You know, lived in Syria as well. People have been out in the field. It's it's really lovely to see, and I, you know, imagine it's kind of, perhaps not every hack like this, and it's sort of made it very. No, that's special. very true. I've been to a lot of hackathons, yeah. and this is definitely very uh, very special in terms yeah. of, like I said, the diversity um, uh, and the different backgrounds, diversity mm -hmm. yeah, in, 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 in culture and mm -hmm. people, and also in, in their skills. Yeah. And that is really good. I mean, that's why I think a lot of people keep coming back, and why I really enjoy it because. Mm. You know, I like to come and share my skills and I like to learn from other people. Um, you know, working with someone who does marketing or someone who does UX. Yeah. Or, or even other coders who do other technologies. I think a lot of people have come, even the developers have come with, this, you know, with their skill set. Yeah. But they might use a different uh, set of skills. Yeah, um, definitely. Of languages to, to, to learn. So, yeah, no, you're thanks. seeing a lot of, sort of share, school sharing a lot throughout this weekend and it's been great to see. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, and. Uh, you know, what advice would you give to others who have kind of heard about hackathons and maybe a bit nervous about coming? Yeah. Um, what would you say to them? Um, first of all, I would say, you know, everyone's got, everyone's had the first hackathon. It's always going to be someone's first time, so you're not going to be alone in that respect. I would also say that, you know, just do it, to be honest. Try and find someone that you feel like you know, a hackathon for a particular theme or you know, something that's really sort of piques your interest. For me, you know, working in Seven International Development, you know, something that helps um, female refugees really spoke to me and so I think that really motivated me to come. And I think, yeah, sort of find something that you really feel passionate, passionate about or something really interesting, something that really interests you, maybe like fintech or whatever, and just go for it. That sounds good. And did you, um did you know anyone before you came here? As in, did you know, did you know anyone who was going to be at the event? Or did you come completely cold? Um, mostly cold. I sort of dragged along my boyfriend, so I had, you know, okay. someone, I knew there would be someone okay. I knew there. 
but and I had come to a one event to support um, for women in the for nonprofits. So oh, okay. I was aware and wasn't really didn't know many people who Which, would be yeah. coming to this event, but I knew that of a group who yeah, was and you know, you partner. Some familiar faces exactly, and so yeah. On. Yeah, a couple of so you do Go first girls, women hack for nonprofit. <laughs> yeah. Power hack. Yeah. Wow, sure, okay, yeah. okay, that's Hitting great. The ground running. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Well I think uh, a lot of people belong to a lot of those communities mm. like well like those communities I actually call them more families because yeah, I speak to those absolutely. people more than I think I speak to my family. <laughs> um, you know, either they ask any question or them me helping them or them helping me and, and so forth. So yeah. um, no that's true, that's great. Um, and so what would you like to learn? We touched on this earlier on. I mean, do you want to do a bit more coding? So maybe later on today or a future event? Is that something you'd like to get a bit more involved yeah, in? Yeah, definitely. I think I would absolutely love to, you know, develop my skill set in terms of coding. We have a sort of UX superstar on our team and I've been learning a bit more about sort of the tools for, you know, sort of going through that UX journey, being, you know, a few maps and stuff like that. So that's been really fun and interesting and like to perhaps look at that a bit more in the future. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And it's just, uh, anything I can learn to be honest. Oh, <laughs> I just great. sort of being in this sort of environment I feel like I'm picking up so many sort of skills. I think just by more. sitting yeah, sitting around you hear so many people talking yeah. and you're, you're getting so many ideas exactly. and I just love it. I mean I've been developing for fifteen years yeah. and I still, every time I do these events and speak to people, I learn so much um, in all areas and all aspects. So it is, um, it is just yeah, really inspiring. Yeah. That's what we're doing here to do, I guess, trying exactly. to inspire other people. So even if it's your first first hackathon or you haven't been to one, so it will be your first. Uh, do do come and do join and learn and have fun. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. <laughs>